Welcome to another truck hardware installation tutorial. Today we are installing our custom no body drill gator back mud flaps on the 2020 Lincoln Aviator. These mud flaps are a great way to protect and improve the overall look of your vehicle. Remember, this video is to be used as a companion to the included installation instructions. With that out of the way, let's get started on the front of the vehicle. To start, Remove the push pin located behind the vehicle's fender. After that, Use a 10mm socket to remove the M6 flange nut located on the bottom of the fender. Set this nut aside for later reinstallation. With the push pin and bottom nut removed, pull back the fender liner as shown. Then install a spring nut over the metal tab on the fender. Ensure you align the hole on the spring nut with the hole on the tab. With the spring nut in place, put the fabric liner back into position. Using a supplied sheet metal screw, offset washer, and a nylon spacer, Install the top hole of your mud flap onto the spring nut. When installing this part of the mud flap, make sure you use the outside hole of the offset washer. And position the nylon spacer on the back of the flap as shown. Next we will install the mud flap brace. To start, place your brace onto the mud flap as shown. Then loosely secure it using a machine screw, flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut. Once the brace is loosely secured to the flap, attach it to the vehicle by placing it over the stud where we remove the factory nut on the underside of the vehicle. Once in place, secure it using the removed factory M6 flange nut. Now that your mud flap is loosely secured onto the vehicle, take a marker and mark on the fender where you want the last two holes of your flap to sit. Once the holes positions are marked, Temporarily remove the top of the flap and install two of the supplied spring nuts over the marked sections of the fender. Now we will finish attaching the flap. Reinstall the top hole and then proceed to secure the final two holes of the flap using two sets of cap screws and flat washers. With a square or other leveling tool, make sure the mud flap is level. We also recommend you take a step back and visually gauge the mud flap to check that it is aligned correctly. Once your flap is level, secure all fasteners. Congratulations, you've just finished installing the front gator back mud flaps. Next, we'll move on to the rear of the vehicle. 
To start, remove the three factory screws on the inside of the fender as shown. Next, using a bolt and flat washer, loosely secure the bottom of the mud flap. When installing this hole, ensure you place a supplied rubber spacer on the back of the mud flap as shown. Repeat this process for the next two holes on the flap. When installing the next two holes on the flap, take a moment to tuck the mud flap's ear behind the fender liner as shown. Next, line your mud flap on the fender so that it sits correctly. Then use a marker to mark where on the fender the top hole of the flap sits. Once the position is marked, place a spring nut into position on the fender and attach the flap to it using a cap screw and washer. With a square or other leveling tool, make sure the mud flap is level. We also recommend you take a step back and visually gauge the mud flap to check that it is aligned correctly. Once your flap is level, secure all fasteners. Next, use a quarter inch drill bit to drill through the fabric liner and flap as shown. Then place a machine screw and flat washer through this hole and into the flap. With the hardware in place, secure the flap using a lock washer, flat washer, and hex nut. Congratulations! You've just finished installing your Gatorback mud flaps. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe. Check out the rest of our channel and website for additional tips, tricks, and installation guides. Thanks for choosing Truck Hardware.